welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new, hi and welcome, and if you're coming back, welcome back. This week I'm going to talk about autumn winter fashion trends, and I've chosen five specific high street trends that are in all the shops at the moment, and I'm just going to run through um, my favourite pieces from each trend and how I would style them, just to give you some ideas of how you can add them to your wardrobe or your current wardrobe, and just to update your wardrobe a bit by buying one or two items from each trend or whichever trend you prefer or you like. So, stay with me and I hope you enjoy my video. Give me the thumbs up if you do, and don't forget to click on subscribe. So, let's kick off with what I'm wearing first. This is the first outfit that I've selected and it's from the animal print trend, which is huge at the moment. It is all over the high street, everywhere, every shop. There is snake print, leopard print, uh, zebra, zebra print, um, everything. It's, it's really, really big. It's a massive trend and I think it's gonna stay. So it might be worth investing in one or two pieces to add to your wardrobe. I've chosen this snake print skirt. It's a midi skirt length. It's quite long on me being five foot four, but I absolutely love it. It flows and feels beautiful. It's got a lovely split at the front, which breaks up the pattern a bit. And I've teamed it with some knee length suede black boots and some thick tights. I think it would take you through the season quite well and it's very versatile. Or if you're not sure about whether you want to do the whole trend, you know, going whole hog with buying a skirt or a jacket or trousers, then you could always just go for a scarf and just add it to any existing outfit, you know, just a plain jumper, uh, just to update the look. Or you could go for a handbag if you wanted a simple, quick and easy update to your wardrobe for the current um, animal print trend. You could just opt for some shoes in the leopard print. These are really comfortable and lovely to wear, flat loafer style, and they're in lots of shops this season. So the next trend I'm going to cover is checks and tartan. And again, this has been in the shops for quite some time and it's all over the place. Every single shop has checks. And I must say, I got out some of my winter wardrobe recently from last season, and I've also got some checks trousers and some skirts that I bought last season so I think that the trend has been in for quite some time but um, tartan is definitely an addition and I've seen lots of tartan trousers and a few tartan jackets in the shops currently so um, the piece I've chosen is uh, some trousers and a jacket these trousers are a green and navy check and they're a tartan. They are really lovely, very comfortable to wear. They're a good length on me and they're from Warehouse and I think you could wear them to work or you could wear them casually. I think you could dress them up in the evening with some heels. They're, they're lovely. I love these check trousers. I featured them in my Shop the Look for Less video last week or a couple of weeks ago and they are from H&M. They're absolutely fantastic. They're a perfect length and I've teamed them up again with just a black polo neck and my black loafers from And Other Stories. You could wear this for work. I think it's a good look. I'm loving the check trend and I've got this jacket from H&M which I bought very recently. I've teamed it with my black jeans and a pair of boots, leather suede black boots and a black t-shirt for a casual look. Roll up the sleeves. It's very comfortable and I think a good transitional piece for the autumn. So the next trend that I'm covering is the leather trend and this has been in the shops for some time and there's lots of it around in all different forms. There are leather jackets, there are aviator jackets everywhere, there are leather, lots and lots of leather or faux leather trousers and skirts and they can range from mini skirts to pencil skirts. So I've chosen something obviously I was a bit hesitant about this trend. So I've gone for a leather pencil skirt and it's actually, I am very surprised, it is really lovely and for the price um, you really can't complain. 
This skirt is faux leather and it's from Zara and it hits me just below the knee. It's got a split at the back and I've teamed it up with some black opaque tights and a polo neck jumper for a daytime look. And for the evening, I've teamed it with a dark shirt and some heels and I think it is great. I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this skirt. I think day and evening, it's a really good buy. Staying with the faux leather, I've teamed these leggings which are in a berry colour with some flat loafers and a chunky knit for a nice daytime casual look. I will put all the description and a link to all the clothes in the box below. Um, I just wanted to add that I got my hair cut at the weekend. I hope you like it. It's um, much shorter than I normally go for. And I'm um, going to get the keratin treatment done again because um, if you've been following me for some time, you'll know my hair is really, really, really curly. It's very, very thick and very dry and really curly. So I get the keratin treatment done a couple of times a year to try and keep it um, nice and smooth and silky and um, straight basically and not frizzy. So if you're interested in seeing my keratin treatment let me know in the comments box below. The next trend I'm going to talk about is massive. There are loads and loads and loads of it in every single shop and it's a bit of a revival of the 70s and that is the cord trend or the corduroy trend and I've seen loads of it in the shops and it's in various different colours. Uh, you can get trousers, jackets, skirts, trouser suits, very popular in the cord um, trend at the moment and a lot of autumnal colours. So I've chosen um, two items from the trend that I quite like and the first ones I am wearing are a pair of cords. These grey cord trousers are from Mango and I've gone for grey as a more conservative colour thinking I could wear them for work. I've teamed them with a grey simple crew neck knit jumper and some heels. And the second item I've chosen is this um, cord blazer, which is absolutely beautiful. It's navy and it's from Mango. And I've teamed it up with a nice uh, dark pair of jeans and just a black t-shirt and my um, black loafers from And Other Stories. So I really like this look. It's very casual, relaxed. And the final trend I'd like to cover today is the tweed trend and I've seen a fair bit of tweed filtering through in some of the shops, tweed jackets, tweed skirts or um, matching um, skirts and jackets and a couple of tweed dresses as well. So I'm um, wearing this tweed jacket that I've had for a little while in my cupboard. It just shows that uh, trends do come round. So I've had it a couple of years, but I will link some um, very similar items that I've seen in the shops uh, down below in the box. And um, I quite like this style. I think it's easy to wear. It's unstructured, so you can wear it with jeans. I've just teamed it with some dark denims and again, black t-shirt and my other stories loafers. So I really like it. I think it's very um, smart, but casual and you could wear anywhere. So that's the end of my YouTube video for this week. I hope you've enjoyed it and thanks for taking the time to watch. If you liked it, give me the thumbs up and click on subscribe. And have a great weekend. I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.